Welcome to the Friday, December 20th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Erner Berry's set of fully laminated seafood wall charts. In today's show, U.S. meat exporters introduce price-friendly meat cuts to Taiwanese consumers. And then, learn which markets have been guiding expanded U.S. chicken exports this year. But first, with Darden's Restaurant's announcement of the company's intent to split with its Red Lobster franchise, here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. Darden Restaurant said it will spin off or sell its struggling Red Lobster restaurant brand, leaving the casual seafood dining concept to operate as its own company. This year's sales at the world's largest seafood restaurant chain are down 4.5 percent, which has prompted calls by investors to sever its Red Lobster and Olive Garden brands from the rest of its higher-end concepts. Under the new plan, Red Lobster will focus its marketing and operating strategies on its core guests. Darden said the split will not require a shareholder vote and expects the move to close in the fiscal year that starts in May 2014. Subscribers can follow more Red Lobster developments along with seafood industry headlines at seafoodnews.com. Meanwhile, U.S. meat exporters are showcasing some more affordable meat cuts to an expanding Taiwanese beef market. Here is Ernerberry Box Beef Market reporter Gary Morrison with the details. U.S. meat exporters are introducing more affordable beef cut options to a growing Taiwanese consumer base. Recently, the U.S. Meat Exporters Federation held a seminar with 75 food service professionals to showcase some lesser known, cost effective beef cuts for export. During the seminar, the Petite Tender and Claude Hart cuts were the center of detention for a number of Taiwanese executive chefs who said the cuts would resonate well with Taiwan's beef consumers. A look at Erner Barry's prices for the items compared to more popular strip loin and ribeye cuts show a clear price advantage for Claude, Hearts, and Petite Tenders. And in 2013, the U.S. beef market in Taiwan grew substantially, with sales values up 214% to $199 million, accounting for 41% of the market share ahead of Australia and New Zealand. Still, U.S. beef export volume continue to trail Oceania shipments, but with sales booming and cheaper cuts becoming more appealing, the Taiwanese market appears poised for continued expansion for U.S. beef. Comtel subscribers can read more U.S. beef exporting market trends and other meat industry analysis by clicking the news link under the red meat tab. Thanks, Gary. We'll close this week's programming with Ernerberry staff writer Michael Ramsing reviewing an uptick in U.S. chicken export data. Growth in U.S. chicken exports this year has been driven by significant gains in Chinese imports combined with an uptick in some other non-traditional markets. The USDA's Food and Agricultural Service reported a 2% year-over-year increase in chicken exports through October to the tune of 2.79 million metric tons. Exports have grown on the back of increased shipments to China, Iraq, and Angola, each reporting gains of 53, 19, and 16% respectively. In Mexico, which has traditionally served among the top export markets for U.S. chicken, shipments also grew by 31%. Meanwhile, higher export volumes were accompanied with increases in values, which are up 4% year-to-date at just under $3.6 billion. And with industry insiders anticipating continued overseas market expansion for U.S. chicken products, there is little expectation for the trend to slow down into the new year. Thanks, Michael. That wraps up our video for the week. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Today's video is sponsored by Erner Berry Seafood Wall Chart Series. These fully laminated wall charts focus on the U.S. market and emphasize the most common commercial Gulf of Mexico, East Coast fish and shellfish and sport fish. Please visit shop.ernerberry.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your posters today.